Oh, hey there! So did you know we got way too many trucks we own? We need to trade some of them off. I need a good service truck and I need a good towing truck for this uh, dealership. I've been uh, talking to the local dealer and he said he might trade them in. So let's get to it. First off, the landscaper planted this tree way too close to the building. I need to cut it down. There we go. Cut that tree down. Alright, so that tree is out of the way now. Way too close to the building. Probably gonna have to cut these little trees down too, but... Nah, the roots won't hurt the foundation right now. So I need to decide how I'm going to pull this truck. So basically, I'm going to get rid of this uh, second gen truck here. I know that's going to make a lot of people mad, but it has a cracked frame. Maybe I'll find another second gen, but right now it's a no-go. So, uh, so this one, I've had a lot of lemon problems. It has a really bad brake system and it's just the the lift they put on it is just too uh, wobbly so it's really hard to drive down the road I love the looks of this truck but it is just not up to par for uh, it's just not up to par for me and I think mostly it's probably their lift kit kinda ruined this truck so that is going and then I can't decide which Ford this Ford or the other Ford I think I'm gonna keep this Ford just because it's a good old work truck I can use it for plenty of tasks I can use it for plowing this uh, dealership gonna just keep that around haven't made a big sale yet had a lot of people come by looks like Jake came by and dropped off his uh, Mac truck. I'm not for sure what he wants done with it, but we'll see about that. So you see what I mean about it stopping? Here's the brakes. Still not stopping. It does a long rolling stop. I'm not a good modder, so I can't really figure that out. And also, this is a second gen interior. I don't know how they put this on a third gen uh, truck. I mean, that's kind of odd. I've seen very few put older interiors into a truck. It's usually an old body style with a new interior, but oh well. It's one of the reasons why we're going to get rid of this truck. I didn't even notice that. Somebody else had to tell me about the second gen interior, so we're going to go over here and uh, pick up our trailer, put our other trucks on here. Here we go, a real slow stop. So a lot of you have been asking if I can uh, do the weight of the pigs. So most of the pigs weigh about 450. Do have a couple babies here, and then I guess about 420, 450, a few of them in the other pen. All right, now that the pigs are fed and taken care of, let's go get our trailer finally. Alright, so we're just pulling in here to our dealer to go pick up both the trucks. That, uh, Dodge, the real second gen over there, that's gonna be hard to get in this trailer, that's for sure. Alright, we got both trucks put on the trailer. Man, do they look good. I'm really sad to see these go. But, life happens, we got to trade in these, uh, trucks so basically we didn't really use this uh, white Ford very often it's kind of underpowered I guess it's really light kind of hard to pull with a trailer doesn't pull anything really good at all so that's one of the reasons why we're gonna get rid of it and uh, this has a cracked frame from a bad accident and this that lift kit just kind of ruined this truck and in the interior so, sad to see these trucks go. A lot of memories. 
sad, sad day. Hopefully I don't hit anybody with as bad as brakes as this thing has on it, but sad day. Probably uh, somebody else will give these trucks a great home. Maybe somebody that has the repair capabilities for that frame. Maybe somebody can take the lift off of this uh, third gen and put the right interior in it. But other than that, these trucks were good to me. Man, do these trucks pull hard for this old beast of a Dodge, that's for sure. Staying on there fairly good, to be honest. Don't want to get too crazy bouncing around because they can go wherever they want, basically. And this Cummins third gen just has a ton of power. Just wish the brakes were good enough to stop that engine. Driving through the city of Moore, I can't believe one of the police officers hasn't moved that uh, pressure washer yet that's just sitting in the middle of the street. That is odd. I should get out and go push at it over at least. I mean, them things are expensive. I'm surprised nobody hasn't stolen it already, at least. Making great time. As you can see, fields are starting to golden up, which means it's almost time to harvest that barley and some wheat. Bad thing is, I really wish we could pick up another combine somewhere around here so we can start harvesting it. It's driving by. Man, you see that uh, Ford truck over there on the little slight lift? Man, that's a beautiful truck. What? Man, them Dodges look absolutely great. Love the front end. Oh wait, this is where I need to stop. Dummy. Yeah, this is where I was going. Forgot that I was uh, uh, pulling in here. By the way, never back up on a street. That's a bad thing to do. So we'll pull in here, unload our trucks here at Morgan's. Massive motors. So it's kind of odd seeing a Ford and a Dodge dealership together. That is odd. Pull in here without hitting anything. Whew! Just barely got everything over there. Man, that one Dodge just is really parked far out into the road. Alright, gonna pull a little bit farther ahead, unload these trucks here, and see where they need them. Alright, got the trucks unloaded. They said they want them in the back there, so they don't want to show them until they after they service them and go through them. And obviously, they're going to sell this truck to probably a used dealer or shop or parts truck, one of the two. Man, I didn't get my toolbox out of there. Oh, man, I need to grab that. Okay, uh, they're looking at the third gen still. They're... They're kind of surprised. They have never seen a second gen interior in a third gen truck like that either. So they're really checking it out right now. While they're doing that, this thing is sweet. Look at this 6.7 liter power stroke. I think this is a 2020 truck. Pretty sure this is a 2020. Uh, King Ranch Super Duty Ford Customs So it has a uh, Cattle guard up front so you know we can go through uh, Jake's and Austin's place and not have any problems Just kidding, but it looks like somebody already took this thing through the mud a little bit, but these mud tires are nice Not crazy about a truck with a lift on it Lifts are really not my thing. Don't think they're really necessary in my book. More of a luxury. Don't really help much. Your basically your gearing right there is still about that the same height, no matter what. So 
you're not going to get any more clearance unless you're going over rocks here and you want more clearance in the under your frame in the center but as in clearance and mudding and all that don't really have it so that's why lifts really aren't my thing I guess they're cool to look at once in a while but after a while they kind of ruin your suspension they ruin your towing they're just not my thing but I want to try this drive this truck around a little bit even though it, it does have a lift on it and look at this interior Woo -wee. nice we're gonna drive over the curb here just drive it around a little bit nice mirrors what options do they have on them looks like a inside the cab folding rear tailgate I don't really, really know why you would even need that. It does have a rear camera right there, it looks like. It does have lane departure on it, which to me is a must now that I got used to using lane departure. Almost have to have it nowadays. The interior looks pretty sharp. Doesn't have the nicest uh, middle dash. I think Ford has one more upgrade than that dash, but. Other than that, it's pretty fancy. Sunroof, of course. Ford specialty, just a complete sunroof. That is pretty. Beautiful truck here. Probably going to drive down here and go by the stadium quickly. And then uh, drive around. It's too bad I can't find one of these without a lift kit on it. I would probably end up buying this. But I just don't know if a F-250 would be up to par for our towing that we need to do. Kind of would like a one ton or F-450 at least. F-250s, they can tow a lot, but I don't really think for what we're going to be using it for, it's probably good for the frame. Probably need to go one step up. This is a pretty cool truck though. They said they want 80000 for this thing. Can you believe that? A three quarter tons worth 80000 nowadays. Unbelievable. Just crazy to think that I bought a three-quarter ton fully optioned Chevy in 2018 for 60. That's crazy. See how this thing handles this curve. Boom, boom, look at that. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. That thing is a beautiful looking truck though, that's for sure. Beautiful truck there. Now, I've had my eyes on these Dodge. So these look like they have some tow rims on it. Cummins Turbo. Just beautiful. Love the chrome front end. Looks like we got, uh, these are one ton dualies. Man, that flat black, it's crazy looking. With them rims, that just pops. Man, I don't know which one I want. Kind of like this red one too. Which one am I gonna get? So many options. So many options. I think I'm going to tr try to drive around this white one here quickly. So these are all last year's model. They're all 2019 Dooleys. This is a perfect time to buy the old model series, especially Dodge, Ford, Chevys. They're getting their 2020 line out. This is the right time to purchase a 2019 because if you don't want to 
pay close to the sticker price, this is the best deal you're going to get. I don't know if Dodge is going to do many changes for uh, 2020. I know Chevy and Fords, I think they changed a lot from uh, 19 to 2020. Leasing their heavy duties. This thing is beautiful. Looks like that center dash doesn't exactly work, but I just love how big their screen is in the center. Just almost doubles any of the other trucks I've seen. Not crazy having a uh, stick shift uh, Dodge though, but I guess I can get used to it. It's probably good for towing. Definitely not good for sitting in traffic though. That could be a problem. Just don't want to do much of that, but having a stick shift is definitely a benefit when you're towing a vehicle. This thing is nice. Definitely nice. I think I'm siding for the the red Dodge though. I have to see if these are alike or not. Not for sure. I think they're almost exactly alike. This is kind of a used dealership, I guess, and they sell a lot of used trucks. That black is just beautiful. Don't know. I think. Don't know if uh, I've had a black truck in the past, and it is just horrible to keep clean. Especially a flat black like this, any little ding or dent in it just really pops out. So that's the only thing bad about having a black. It does look good with this uh, black interior though. Looks like that's the modder there. Swiggy T Mods. So if you're wanting this truck, check out their mods there. So give them a shout out. I probably butchered that name, by the way, so sorry, you modders. This thing is nice. Definitely looks black, good with the black interior. Black interior is hard to keep clean, though, that's for sure. I think I'm really siding for this red. Yep. The red does it. think I'm going to get the red truck. I'm going to just drive this around quickly. Just to make sure it rides good. Even though it's brand new, you still want to make sure there's no factory defects. Alright, so this thing drives like a dream. I'm going to back it up here. While I'm backing up, I'm going to try to test the brakes. Because I don't want to buy another truck with bad brakes. Yep, that's what I like. Good brakes on a truck really like that truck so I was eyeing this other old Chevy over here I think this is a 71 front Chevy at a K30 I don't know if they called them K30s back in the 70s or not but this bed would just work great for our service truck want something so we can service our customers on semis and everything even though this is kind of small, we can't pull them, but we can at least change a tire, uh, do a little welding, or uh, air up their tire, or service the quick fixes on the road. A little AA service for our customers. Let's see the interior of this thing. Man, they really went with that uh, cream look in the interior, but it's nice and clean, that's for sure. Love the sound of this thing. That thing just sounds mean. Is that Austin's truck? Austin leaves his truck everywhere. That thing's been seen everywhere. It's even at the dealer. Is Austin at the dealer? I'm positive when I was at my old dealership I saw Austin's truck there. That thing just is, makes an appearance all around this place. This thing definitely drives good, stops good.
Yep. Yep. I like this truck a lot. This is a good old Chevy truck. I think I'm gonna get this on the trailer there quickly. All right. So now we got to see what we're gonna even out to. So I'm gonna sell the three trucks, the two in the back, this uh, 03, so the two second gen in that, uh, I think that was a 03 uh, four door uh, Ford. And I'm gonna try to purchase this uh, brand new it's brand new to me, but it's a 2019. It has basically zero miles on it, so I do like that uh, the step sides are colored and they fold in. That's kind of nice. But this is uh, last year's model, so I think I can get a fairly good discount on it. That's the way I like buying trucks. So that and this... Uh, 71 that's just restored just a beautiful service truck try to get that sell three trucks get two see if we can do it man so they said they give me 40,000 for all three trucks uh, 10,000 for this old truck I failed I didn't tell them about the issues with it probably should have but oh well uh, they probably don't tell me all the issues with this 71 over here and I got uh, 5,000 for the second gen basically because it has a cracked frame and I got the most for that uh, 2011 I think I called that a 2003 that's a 2011 F350 truck my bad my bad. It's definitely newer than an 03, uh, but I s sold that for 25. I got the most for that. That thing, probably a good sell. Don't think we used it enough to uh, have a $25,000 truck around the lot. So basically, he wants 70000 for this thing, which I think is a great deal, in my mind, at least. I know trucks have really went up. That's a... Uh, Cummins, they're not cheap by any means. Uh, a dually, and that chrome on that grill probably costs extra. Maybe not, but uh, and then he wants 15 for this truck. I think that's a little high. I know it's restored and everything, and that that box on the back here, that toolbox, or in this welder, and all this on this truck is probably worth quite a bit I think I'm gonna try to get them down I don't know if I can or not just think that's probably a little bit a lot for this truck but basically it is a new truck it's a good service truck for 15 that's for sure welders aren't cheap air compressors aren't cheap and this box on this truck isn't cheap it has LEDs on it and everything chrome rims 4x4 four four. we can put a uh, plow on the front see if I can do any negotiating here so I didn't get them any farther down so I think I'm gonna s seal the deal I'm just trying to stall this is what I do a lot in the dealership kind of stall don't let them don't play their game basically go on to the dealer know that you're not gonna purchase the item right away walk away come back in a, like a week from then talk again walk away that's what you got to do you got to stall with the dealership they want you to make a quick purchase without thinking about it it's definitely not what you want to do when you're at a dealership so take your time but I think I'm probably just going to make the purchase because there's a uh, time to stall and there's a time to make deals and we got a harvest coming up so we have to get this done with or hopefully make this deal so because we're not gonna have time in the future made the deal so I need to get this uh, they said they're gonna move this uh, forward to the back here quickly and then I'm gonna hook on to the trailer onto our beautiful red Dodge over there and probably uh, put our uh, beautiful Chevy truck on it 
All right, so now that they sold them, I'm gonna get into my Dodge here. Start this old beast up. Man, just love the looks of this thing. 2019 Dodge is all mine. Definitely moving up in the world here. All right, so I'm going to get this trailer hitched up here. All right, so let's step out of this thing here quickly. Man, do like this truck, that's for sure. So I guess we gotta fold these ramps down here quickly. So now we need to drive this Chevy up there. So it looks like I got a little bit too far to the side. Gonna fix that just right. There we go, got that set right. Now we gotta fold these up, fold them up. There we go. We are ready to take off. Man, is that thing beautiful. Look at that thing. Just look at it. All right, we're gonna take this old beast. Is it pulling good? Yep. See you later, Ford. Too bad you weren't lifted. Got a little bit off to the side over there. Start taking this off. Now that is a good looking trailer together there. Man, is that pretty. Of course, I gotta show off all my new Dodge to all the people in Casey's. They know me by now. They probably won't recognize the vehicle, but they'll recognize me. Just beautiful truck. So I love this. It also has airbag suspension on this. So if I need it to uh, go through the mud and everything. So watch this. Lift, lower. So I don't have to have a lifted truck all the time. I can either lower it just like so. Works great. I really like how they put the, the Apple uh, tunes down on the bottom there so it doesn't uh, you could still have your navigation and everything up on top there on your giant screen. Pretty nice, I think. Man, is that thing just beautiful. I love my Chevy on the back there, too. It's going to be a great truck for servicing up all my customers. Now the only issue is, see all that gold and crops out there? It's almost harvest time. I love how this old Cummins purrs when it's going down the road. Now listen to it. Love the purr of a Cummins. Miss a good Dodge run the farmyard, that's for sure. So you're probably wondering, why didn't you get your uh, Chevy truck? Basically, I still haven't figured out how to get it into a multiplayer server. I think I'm just going to release it as is. Sorry, it doesn't work into multiplayer game. I don't know what is wrong. I did put the multiplayer code in, and for whatever reason, it's still not showing up in the, in the purchasing uh, screen. So I have no idea. It's beyond me and beyond my capability. I think Buck's also having problems with it, so I don't. I was really hoping to fix it up before I release it, but probably just going to release it as is because can't do it any better. Somebody hopefully will be able to fix it up, right? So you can all play with it in multiplayer game like I want to. But for now, I'm just going to be driving around a 2019 Dodge. If I had to do it all over again, if I bought right now, I'd probably be own a Dodge, though, so just to be honest. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.